Today, we're busting 20 myths within the LEGO games to find out what's really true. LEGO City Undercover never got a sequel, but apparently Chase McCain did appear in one of the most recent LEGO games, LEGO DC Super Villains. Oh my gosh, look, there he is! Chase McCain in his farmer disguise. It seems like he lives in Smallville. That's actually crazy, myth confirmed. Taxis will drive you to your destination no matter where you set the waypoint. Oh come on, where's the taxi when we actually need one? I'm gonna force that other guy out of the taxi so the taxi should drive us to this exact location oh my gosh it almost hit that car what is it doing it's taken some back roads in fact that was a one-way street what is hap what what are you doing what? That is not where I wanted to go. Are you serious? Myth busted. What in the world? Man, those taxi drivers, I tell you. Throwing Wally at the red truck near the barn will crash the game. Well, I guess there's only one way to find out. Oh my god. Wait, it actually does close the software, are you kidding me? Using the LexCorp Sphere as the flash will make you go extremely fast. Oh yeah, oh yeah, myth confirmed. Look how fast he's going. How fast is this though, seriously? Imagine waking up to this in the morning. You can enter a scaled down version of the open world in the LEGO City Police Station. We have to glitch out of bounds inside the police station. Let's see what is out here. Oh my goodness, what is this? Myth confirmed. Confirmed. Oh, we can even see the buildings up there. Oh, wait, guys. Can we see the donut shop? That's the big question. You can see the tip of the sign right there. Oh my gosh, we can go under the floor. Hi, person. <laughs> Chase McCain has a disguise of him in his underwear. Oh boy, I hope this ain't true. So I did some researching, and it turns out this is actually true. There was a disguise made for Chase McCain in his underwear, but it was not released in the official game. Man, Chase definitely has some style. Hey, you know what's not a myth? Hitting that subscribe button makes Tyge happy. That's confirmed. You can glitch a second player into the flatbed truck. Supposedly, if we just drive straight, it's gonna glitch into the truck. And there it goes. Everseer is literally hidden inside the truck. Griffin Turner can be found in Ninjago City downtown. Apparently, he can be found over here as an NPC in the open world. Okay, there he is. Myth confirmed. Why have two when you can have three? The monorail will automatically destroy your vehicle. Here it comes. Okay, it's slowing down. I wonder if our vehicle is just going to get pushed or something. Wait, what? It's just going right through the vehicle. We can see inside the train. Myth busted. Criminals can crack safes, but apparently doctors can also use their stethoscope to do the same thing. Oh my gosh, it actually works. You can totally use doctors to crack them. You can stand atop mountain. Mount Rushmore. And it turns out it is possible to get up there, but sadly there is no collision, which means myth busted. Using the slow motion glitch won't affect the in-game timer during races. We got it to work, you can see that I'm jumping in slow motion here. So when you're doing a race, it times how fast you're going, and apparently the timer is still gonna remain the same even though the rest of the game is in slow motion. Oh my goodness, myth busted. The timer is way slower. Those seconds seconds are like two seconds long. You can skip the unskippable cutscene at the beginning of LEGO Incredibles. We've all seen this cutscene a hundred times. I've always thought you couldn't actually skip it, but apparently if you grind and mash buttons on your controller... Oh my gosh, wait, did it work? It actually just worked. How have I not known this my entire life? Seriously. You can fly into the sun. So first we gotta get out of bounds. The sun should be this way. Well, I can already see that I think it's part of the background and not actually a reachable area. Myth busted. So much for all that flying, Superman. Many of the NPCs and characters are from already existing LEGO minifigures. Uh, guys, why is there like 20 gorillas around here? Well, there's a fact right there. The gorilla is actually from an official LEGO minifigure. So, myth confirmed. You can enter a scaled down version of the open world in the Parr family's house. Let's perform a glitch here to get out of bounds. Okay, we got out of bounds, so let's see what is out here. Okay, yes, myth confirmed. The city is just completely gone though. There's a secret postcard you can get in the intro. You know the intro of LEGO City Undercover where all these postcards go on the screen? Well, surprisingly, there's a secret postcard that rarely shows up. So, myth confirmed. But it will only show up when your game is taking a long time 
to load, or if it's about to crash or something. Something Chase is very good at, may I add. LEGO Worlds has a vehicle from LEGO City Undercover. Myth confirmed. It looks like we have two vehicles from LEGO City Undercover. That's actually so cool. This is one of my favorite vehicles from LEGO City. There is secret dialogue when you spawn Anakin and Obi-Wan together. Hello there. Oh my god. Gosh, what is this? Well, myth confirmed. You can destroy the monorail. After literally years of trying to destroy the LEGO Incredibles monorail. Oh, here it comes. Oh, come on. I have one last idea to actually take this thing down. We got on it. Here's the moment of truth. Oh, it stopped. Yes, we destroyed it. After all these years, we finally found a way to destroy it. And it was like the simplest thing ever. There you have it. 20 myths that we busted throughout the Lego games. Let me know down in the comments if you have any myths of your own. Please subscribe for more Lego content just like this. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Goodbye, everyone.